we're going to be building upon the lesson that we worked on yesterday. Today we're rewriting two digit numbers and we are going to be thinking about the essential question, how can I add two digit numbers? I'd like for you to pause and do the problem of the day in your math notebook or on your whiteboard. You're going to find the number pairs that have a sum of 99 and then you're going to write five more number pairs that have a sum of 99. So let's do a few of these together um, and then I'll have you write the five more that make a sum. So since there's no, um, since we won't need to regroup necessarily, um, we can just look at the ones and find ones that equal nine and then tens that equal nine. So let's see, we have 84 and 15. Four and five is nine, eight and one is nine. We also have kind of the opposite of that, 51 and 48. If you think kind of like 10 pairs, we're looking for nine pairs this time. <clears throat> we have, let's see, 36 and 63. And then we have 27 and 72. Okay, see if you can come up with five more um, sums that equal 99. Push play when you're ready. Okay, so a few more that you may have figured out are 18 and 81. This one's kind of similar to 36 and 63. <clears throat> we also have 44 plus 55. Thirty-one plus sixty-eight. We could go on and on, right? We could do thirty-eight plus sixty-one. There's lots and lots and lots of combinations. All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's do a quick check here. I'd like for you to solve these in your or on your whiteboard or in your math journal. Push play when you're ready to check and see how you did. These are like the ones that we practiced yesterday, so we're going to start in the ones. Four plus seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Two plus one plus one is four. Seven plus nine, I'm gonna make a 10 and do 10 plus six instead, which is 16. Regroup 110, 110 plus 3 tenths plus 110, 5 tenths. <clears throat> 2 plus 1 is 3, 8 plus 1 is 9. No need to regroup here, right? Because 3 is less than 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. Ooh, this one's a little bit tricky. In 10, there's zero ones, so that's what's going to go down here. And then 110, 4 plus 4 is 8. How'd you do? What is the answer to this problem? Five plus seven is 12. One plus one plus three, five. Find 52 down here and colored it. Okay, so now we're ready to explore says, how can you write an addition number sentence two different ways? So we're going to look at this on the next page. So it says, colon has 
43 music files on his portable music player. Katie has 38 music files on her portable music player. How many music files do they have in all? That means we're adding. Write the math problem in two different ways and then solve. So our two numbers that we're working with are colons 43 and Katie's 38. We can write it like that or the second way we can write it is like this. I told you yesterday, this is the way that I prefer to write it up and down. That way I've got my ones in a row and I've got my tens in a row and I can regroup and easily see. It's not as easy over here because when I add eight and three, I get 11. And then I have to figure out kind of how to show that I've got that 110 left over, right? And then add four plus one plus three and keep track of that. Whereas over here, I can just record one in the ones place, one ten in the tens place, and then easily add up one plus four plus three and kind of keep track of them a little bit easier. Okay, so let's look at another problem. It says there's a colony of 46 meerkats. There is another colony of 26 meerkats. How many meerkats are there in all? Write the problem in two different ways and solve the problem. So we have 46 meerkats plus 26 meerkats. And then we can also write that. Oh, I switched that. That's horizontal. We'll put vertical down here. We can also write that like this, 46 plus 26. So we've got six plus six is 12. 12 is two ones, one, 10. One plus four plus two is seven. So this must be 72 as well. Okay, you need your My Math book open to page 191. <clears throat> and all you need today is your pencil and your ma My Math book. When you're ready, you may push play. Emily's baseball team is playing a baseball game to raise money for a children's hospital. Emily's team scored 11 runs in the game. The other team scored eight runs. How many runs were scored in all? Write the numbers in the place value chart and add. So Emily's team scored 11. 11 is 1, 10, 1, 1. And the other team scored eight. Eight has to go in the ones column. And then we can add one plus eight is nine. And bring down the one, one plus zero is one. So we ended up with 19 runs. Get that filled in and then you can flip to your guided practice. It says you can rewrite a problem to add. Find 35 plus 26. Write one add end below the other add end. Line up the tens and the ones, add and regroup if necessary. So let's start with step one. <clears throat> Write one add end below the other. So here are our numbers, 35 plus 26. Could be the other way too though, right? We could add 26 plus 35. Line up the tens and the ones, they're lined up, aren't they? And then add and regroup. So we always start in the ones, five plus five is 10, plus one more is 11. 11 has one one, and we have to regroup 10 of these over here. One plus two plus three is six. Did we have to regroup? Yes, we did. Why did we have to group, regroup? Because five plus six equals 11, and 11 is more than 10. Okay, we're going to rewrite a few more problems and add them together. <clears throat> so please join me, do this in your My Math book on page 192. So write in 64, yours should look just like mine, plus 22. If you want, you can add the little regroup box up there, but you don't have to. Then where are we going to start? We're going to start in the ones. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Did we need to regroup? No, we didn't. Why? Because 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 is less than 10. 
Let's try another one. Two tens, six ones, six tens, five ones. Let's add our ones together. Again, we've got five plus five is 10, plus one more is 11. That's one one, one ten. And then I need to add all three of those numbers in the tens together. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then 36 plus 36. <clears throat> Let's look in the ones. Six plus six is 12. 12 has two ones, one ten. Three plus three is six, plus one more is seven. Okay, I want you to try these next three on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and you can push play when you're ready to check and see how you did on your own before we move on to your independent practice. Okay, so you should have rewritten all of these up and down like this. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I made that big. Hold on. Got to fix that for. I didn't like how it looked. There we go. All right, and then you should have added and gotten 92, 65, and 93. Hopefully you did well. <clears throat> so let's talk real quick. Why is it helpful to rewrite addition? We talked a little bit about this a couple of slides back. When you have your problem written horizontally or side to side like this, right? It's hard to know which ones are tens, which ones are ones. And when you regroup, there's really no place to put them to keep them organized. So when we rewrite them up and down, it allows us to separate the ones and tens and keep track of where those numbers are going. So now you're ready for your independent practice problem solving brain and brain builders on pages 193 and 194.